here to talk about festivals. People have been asking me about festivals and I can certainly understand why. <laughs> Let's talk. You need to decide between beginner, intermediate, or advanced. It's so hard because you might, you know, think you're one or the other and you're really the other. What they tell you, beginners can do ochos and they can walk to the cross. What it really means is that like your friend signed up for this festival and you thought, well, that'd be cool, I'll try tango. And so you just showed up. Intermediate basically means, well, I've been to a milonga and someone asked me to dance. <coughs> and advanced means you know that you're the shit and you can do anything and look awesome doing it. If all that is too confusing, just go by this basic guide. Have I been dancing for one year? Beginner. Two years? Intermediate. Three years? Advanced! I'm always taking the advanced classes, so you might not see me. Take the Prima Longa class. That's how you find out who you're gonna dance with that night. You get rotated all around, and you get to dance with all these different people and introduce yourself, say hi. Then you go, oh, I really like this person. And you go and you find them during the dance, and they talk to you because they already talked to you, and they know you, so they don't have to like, inter well, they might introduce themselves again. Hi, I remember when we met in the class. I don't know, I might get five, ten dances on the first night of a festival just because I took the pre Malanka class. You need strategies, because there's so many women. You want to be seen dancing with the advanced teachers. There's so many women. These leaders don't know what they want until you tell them what they want. God, there's so many women. You have to hunt them down. <sighs> there's so many women. Be aggressive. There's so many women! Show some skin for God's sake! What do you think they're here for? Another strategy, show some more skin! For getting good dances, show some more skin, is using the pre cabaseo You know, you're walking somewhere and they're walking somewhere and you're crossing, you know, you're crossing paths. The shoes you wear really say a lot about your level. And you like give them a look like, hmm. Huh? We're gonna dance later. And this is all inside your head, don't say that. This is my lucky skirt. I don't know why, but I'm always getting a lot of dances in this skirt. You sort of make eye contact, you look them real in the face, and you say, mm hmm. Try to show off your legs, but then you move on. You don't like stand there and look awkward. <laughs> and a little more skin never hurt. Use Facebook to your advantage. Just change your last name to Tango. Invite anyone that you met at any Malanga or any festival. You can send them private messages. They love that. Let them know exactly when you want to dance with them. And I'm not talking about like 1042. Do you want to dance with them to Darienzo? Or do you want to dance with them to Fresetto? <gasps> Oh, Fresetto is so romantic. Or if it's really intense, and you know how intense it is because his arm on your back is really more like his arm brushing across your neck. <laughs> then you say, save the Pugliese for me. <sighs> but you don't really say it like that, you type it. When you're out there in a crowded dance floor, all of your steps should be forward. Find a way to express the music without moving your feet. You just learned it in the pre-Malanga class. It's not time to use it in the Malanga. Some internal movements. Passing on the right? Uh-uh. They're gonna hit you from one side. Don't do any blows. And from the other. For the love of God, people, stay in the line of dance. It's okay. Oh, look at me! I'm taking up the whole dance floor! I'm more important than everybody! Just hug each other. It can be a nice thing, too. Vendors! There's so many options! Really beautiful skirts and dresses made just for tango. It's gonna be so hard for you to decide. You're gonna be like, Ooh! <laughs> They're shoes! Oh my god, shoot! And you're gonna try them all on and you're gonna be like, I need this pair and I need this pair. I just don't know which one pair. I only have so much money! <clears throat> so you'll need a lot of money for that. How do I stay up all night? 
here, Bamate. <laughs> what is this stuff? It's a South American beverage. With something other than caffeine that keeps you crazy! This guy suggested we get coffee. That kept me up a long time. <laughs> of course, when I'm dancing with Milton, and he starts off so soft and dreamy. I don't even get tired. <laughs> How do we save money so we can go to more festivals? You sleep together. Well, you can get like four, five, even six people in one bed. Bring your own food and then ask the hotel for a refrigerator. Stay with one of the locals. If they don't have a refrigerator, just bring one. Maybe they're really good looking. <laughs> and you can volunteer. Sit for an hour and get like five or six and seven dollars off the price of your admission. Show some more skin. Be creative, right? This dress could be here, or it could be ripped. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be way down here. What do you have to offer? Are you ready? And there's nipples. Oh my God, nipples. Oh my God, nipples! <laughs> and if you're Veronica, you'll say, we're gonna dance the shit out of that Pugliese. Oh, shoes, I love shoes. Oh, give me the shoes. Stop. <laughs> you can't do that, Randy. Drink lots of mar <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> you should take cocaine. <laughs> Reserved, like not not the word shoes. Yeah. <sighs> no. No. Oh. Okay. Stop that, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs>